We are camping at Riverbend Campground near Olympia, Washington. And one of the things I always look for is a wildlife refuge. Like this one here on the right, the Nisqually National Wildlife. It has lots of trails, lots of boardwalk, and a lot of birds. I was able to add a couple more to my list. As of right now, I'm up to 155 birds photographed. So come with us as we head over to the park and take a look around. Now the parking lot looks full, but it's a big park, so we'll see how it is when we get in there. And right away, we saw our first wildlife, a little bunny. As you can see here, I do like to paint some of my photos, and I'll talk a little bit more about that towards the end. The forest is really thick around here, so I had to up my ISO to about 1600 to capture this little warbler in the tree. Now this park is right on the edge of the sound. So everybody here, we're headed out to the boardwalk that goes way out into the open where the eagles like to be. But on the way we saw this little coyote just enjoying the day. Now this photo here, I zoomed in on the coyote and made it a black and white photo and then turned it into an oil painting. Now if you'd like to know more information on my painting, check out the website link in the description below. Now this park also has what they call the twin barns. They are giant barns that no are, they're not in use anymore because they had some damage, but they were dairy barns at one time. Right now the tide is out. But normally, at the right time of year, you're going to see a lot of different kind of ducks. Today, there are a lot of eagles out there, but they're way out there. And there's quite a few young eagles as well. Washington is known for their tall Norway spruce trees. They're just beautiful. After we left the Nisqually National Park, we headed over to the Northwest Trek Wildlife Park. Join me next week as we visit Montana along the Yak River. So I want to thank you for watching. And as always, I hope to see you next time on Adventures 
outdoors.